Hello, this video is just a little pond update for you. It's springtime, we're really pleased with how the plants are doing, as you will see. Hello, welcome to John Horsey Horticulture. John's been teaching horticulture professionally for over 30 years now, and on this channel we're hoping to help you develop your gardening skills. Whether you're new to gardening, looking for some propagation techniques, how to grow some vegetables, some pest control perhaps, or whether you're a seasoned horty who could always use some new advice and tips. If you like learning those things, do consider following us. There's no charge, just push the subscribe button. If you push the all-important notification bell, that just lets you know every time we upload a new video. Well, we're back at the pond today, and I'm really very pleased with this because if you remember we've done a bit of work on it we, we've cleared out the, the, the um, vegetation growing on the side um, we're about I think it's the third year since I made this pond and the first year it went very very green which always happens when you make a new pond we generally fill it with um, with tap water full of nitrogen it helps the algae uh, and the, the plants themselves haven't got away to sort of get the nutrients right uh, the next year it went covered with duckweed, which was better, I suppose, but still not very nice. Uh, and then last year we had a load of um, filamentaceous algae, blanket weed in the pond. But now, eventually, it settled itself out and it's really looking very, very clean. Um, the plants are coming up nicely around the side. The marsh marigolds have got established. The irises are coming away. And rather nicely, the, the moss has started growing over all the baskets, hiding the baskets. So uh, I'm really pleased with the, way, with the way it's come on. Um, we've also had a load of frog spawn, and we, I can see the tadpoles moving around in there. The idea is to have it as a wildlife pond. It's got quite a few palmate newts in it, which probably really mainly my tadpoles. Um, but apart, you know, really basically it, 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 it's, it's doing very, very well. It's a bit of sort of um, root exposure in the middle there because I did take a lily out for a friend but that, that will settle down in, in a couple of, uh, couple of weeks. Of course this little corner is lovely because you can see here we've got uh, the marsh marigold. This is the bigger form of it, the more, more vigorous one um, as opposed to the double one which you've got along the side. I put the double one along there because it's low growing and it won't um, hide the, the border when it gets going. This here can come up against the, uh, the azalea behind it. And that was actually a paler, paler one. It's a lemony coloured one. It doesn't look very lemon at the moment, but it, it, it is a lemon one. Uh, growing through it is the water forget-me-not, and that's going to be uh, going to be lovely in a, in a month or so's time. Throughout the pond, we've got the spearwort. This uh, leaf, spear-like leaf, that comes up with the flower a bit like a uh, a, a, a buttercup, uh, and that will be uh, that will be flowering perhaps about a month's time before that comes out. The other things you can see on the surface over there, you've got the odd um, pond skater. Um, they, they fly in, uh, they, they, they'll come in those ponds. Um, there are a few, um, there's, like, <laughs> there's one, one gerinus, the whirligig beetle over there. They're the th sort of things that when you get, um, get a group of them, they go buzzing round and round and round, hence they get the name whirligig, because they whirl round and round and round. But there's only one, so I suppose he doesn't want to whirl too much. But the good thing about all this vegetation is that it's uh, giving a hidey place for the tadpoles. So many times you hear people say the newts eat all my tadpoles, and they do eat the tadpoles. But if there's lots of hiding places, then the tadpoles have got a bit of chance of escaping. And when frog tadpoles get going, they're fairly, very, quite, very fast. They're very um, able to look after themselves. The toads are a bit more slow. Um, and I'm hoping they'll all hide in that vegetation. And we'll get lots of them leaving um, in um, June, July. Down the bottom there is a good growth of the, uh, the, the, the pond weed. I, I, I put in ceratophyllum, which is the water, uh, horth, water hornwort, sorry. And uh, that will uh, do the, you know, it'll, it'll, it'll uh, aerate the water, it'll take up lots of the nutrients, but it doesn't r rampage away like the LOD, the uh, Canadian pond weed does. Yeah, the, um, the, the mare's tail, or ecocetum, is uh, uh, it's, it's contained. It has to be contained. Um, if I left that uh, out of a basket, it would run out. In fact, that one even comes out of the basket. And I think you remember a little while back, we went along there and um, and pulled it all, pulled it out the stuff which had grown out the basket. So it's lovely, but it has to be um, kept in that 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 container. It's much much more convenient to have them in containers because you can uh, c control them. They they don't get away. 
um, especially things like these marsh marigolds, which they disappear right back. So if you've got the bar basket, you can see, see where they are. Adjacent to it, only just showing a few shoots, are the um, Hesperanthus, which, uh, which give you the lovely flowers later on. I mean, that was flowering in October. Um, really very nice. So that gives you colour later on the year. The one for the summer is the Pontederia, which is just coming through over there yet. Yeah, it's, it's, it, it, it's, it's very, very late coming through. Um, we'll, we'll come and look for that one later on. But generally, very pleased with the pond. Um, it's lovely to see the, the, all the wildlife using it. As I said, I've got tadpoles, I've got palmate newts. We saw a little grass lake in here last summer. And uh, uh, the birds are coming in. The birds are coming in a lot to drink from it and also to bathe. There's a blackbird who regularly bathes over in that corner. So it's a great success and it's just outside the, the window where we work. Uh, so it gives a great amount of pleasure to us and it's very useful to the wildlife. Very pleased. Well, thank you so much for watching. Part two coming up is talking about the wildlife we found in the pond. So do stay tuned. We look forward to seeing you in the next one.